Hey guys, Thor Dykow here. It's this week on Blu-ray, DVD, and on demand, of course. We've got four titles to choose from this week and a little bit of a mixed bag. We'll start with Jeff Nichols' masterpiece, Loving. And you should see this movie uh, for Ruth Nagus performance for one thing because she got a Best Actress nomination. But a very timely tale as well, based on the true story in 1958 in the state of Virginia. The idea of interracial marriage was not only considered to be immoral by many, but it was illegal. Joel Edgerton and Ruth Nagus play a couple. He decides to make it a they travel to Washington, D.C. to get married, but when they return to their home state, they are rounded up by the authorities and imprisoned. Now, this was a case that went all the way to the Supreme Court, and this is a great movie, not only for its examination of a um, very different time, culturally speaking, in the States, uh, when there was so much uh, prejudice going on, but also how understated the film is. It never gets bombastic or sensational. It really wanted to focus more on the relationship between uh, the couple here. Of course, we're talking about Richard and Mildred Loving, and it's a fascinating story at its core. So a lot of emphasis on character here. They didn't try to get too showy or too stylistic, and it is a great film. Riveting writing, uh, tremendous performances here, and I love Jeff Nichols' style. I mean, you may remember him from movies like Mud, Take Shelter, uh, Midnight Special, and Shotgun Stories. And don't worry, there is a Michael Shannon cameo in this movie because he is in every one of Jeff Nichols' movies. But a timely story and uh, uh, compelling performances here as well, and just a great sensitive screenplay. So check out Loving. Definitely put that on the list. It was one of my top 20 films of 2016. Let's move on. Something for the kids. Trolls. You can get the party edition, Blu-ray, DVD, and digital HD combo pack. This thing was a singing, dancing sensation. I took my, my two-year-old to it. I thought, okay, I'm going to enjoy this, this Trolls movie. I have to say, though, it was infectious from start to finish. The songs are great, courtesy of Justin Timberlake, who also served as uh, the music um, supervising producer, and he's uh, one of the voices here as well, along with Anna Kendrick. Basically what happens is the Trolls Village is invaded by some nasty Bergen and Poppy who is voiced by Anna Kendrick, she's the happiest troll in the village, teams up with the curmudgeonly branch voiced by Timberlake and they set out on an epic journey. I love the environment and the world he created here. It was so tactile and you can almost feel the fuzzy felt material in many of the scenes and it was also very funny. Some of the jokes went a little over the kids heads but I like that kind of stuff because it balanced out the slapstick that the children enjoy with some of the, uh, you know, more winks to the adult humor as well without getting too dirty. And um, the songs as well were totally infectious. I mean, I still listen to the soundtrack at home uh, on repeat uh, you know, all throughout the week. And the vocal talents are amazing. I mean, I mentioned Kendrick and Timberlake. You got Zoe Deschanel, Christopher mintz Plas, Christine Baranski, Russell Brand, Gwen Stefani. James Corden, Jeffrey Tambor, and Ron Funches. And uh, on the party mode, you can actually uh, go to the next level with four interactive party mode features where you can use your remote to engage with the on-screen film. You can shower the screen with glitter during party scenes, drop cupcakes when things get scary, and you can even high-five Cloud Guy or join Mr. Dinkles for some oh-snap moments. Trolls, one of the best animated flicks of the year. Let's move along to the documentary realm. This is amazing. The Eagle Huntress, a film festival uh, favorite, and the true story of girl empowerment in Kazakhstan. This is about a 13-year-old girl who trains to be the first female in 12 generations of her Kazakh family to become an eagle hunter and rise to the pinnacle of a tradition that has been handed down from father to son for centuries. This is uh, in the backdrop of uh, the Mongolian region and and um, it is stunning to watch and just an unbelievable, compelling story with awe-inspiring cinematography as well. And the film was narrated by Daisy Ridley, uh, of course, who we all know from Star She's Wars The Force Awakens but what an amazing tale and uh, you got to watch this from start to finish because uh, it is just gripping I tell you and the fact that she's dealing with this mainly male oriented custom and culture that goes back a couple of thousand years in this um, uh, small part of the world here with this village uh, is just incredible and you see the visuals here just astounding some of the cinematography and uh, yeah she just looks to pursue her passion of hunting with these golden eagles and breaks down gender barriers in a very traditional culture culture, so don't miss The Eagle Huntress. Fantastic documentary. All right, and a science fiction classic on television. Yes, coming to DVD, Star Trek Deep Space Nine, the complete series. And on this beautiful set, you get all seven seasons on 48 
discs. You get some uh, crew dossiers and um, dossiers, I should say, and uh, a couple of new features as well, along with some uh, traditional ones as well that you saw uh, in um, other forms. But uh, I would get this one because it doesn't look like they have plans to release this on Blu-ray, and you can't even really find Deep Space Nine on streaming yet. There's just a lot of cost involved with these, with the transfer, because of course they were all shot on film in the 90s and things like that. So the the process is very time-consuming, costly, requires a lot of staff. So this may be the only sort of home video package release of this main series of the full complete series that you get. So snatch it up now. The complete series Star Trek Deep Space Nine now on DVD. And there's just a snippet of some of the classic episodes from that great show. All right, people, we will leave it there. I am Thor Dykow. You can catch me out on social. Catch me on social at Thor Dykow is the handle. And we will see you next week right here on breakfasttelevision.ca.